Hello, this is Matthew Oates with Salient Process. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Spark Ignition in combination with IBM's BlueWorks Live and IBM's BPM on the Cloud uh, or BPM Environments uh, to take a process that's been built in BlueWorks Live, use only the browser-based tools within IBM BPM or BPM on the Cloud uh, to uh, import that process and create a useful process application uh, with Spark Ignition. Uh, so to start, let's just take a look at our process. This is a, a typical process. You have swim lanes, milestones, decision gateways. Within each activity, there might be some documentation. You'll see we have this nice approachable hashtag ignition activity format. Check out one of the other videos or other documentation to see uh, how this format is useful and, and how we use it to uh, create those process applications that provide real value without any code. Um, but for now, we, we have this process application here, uh, or sorry, we have this BlueWorks Live diagram here. Uh, and what we're going to do is uh, uh, first export this BlueWorks Live diagram. We want to export it as a BPMN 2.0 export, so we'll click that. This is going to save a zip file to uh, wherever our downloads are. Uh, and so we're, we're done in BlueWorks Live now with the export. What we need to do next is go to uh, Process Center. All right, so this is the Process Center environment in your BPM or BPM on the cloud environment. It should look something like this. Um, I've already imported the Spark Ignition Administration app uh, and set that up. Check out the other video to know how you can set that up. Um, and then uh, we're going to now import that process app uh, that I just created. All right, so why don't we do that? Let's, uh, let's import the process app. Now remember, we, it's not technically a process app, but uh, what's neat about IBM BPM is it lets you kind of detect um, things that were BlueWorks Live exports or process apps and, and, and treats them the same way. So here's my request a demo zip that was just downloaded. I'm gonna select that. Uh, I might change the name if I want to. I'm gonna just say for salient here. Uh, and maybe change, I can change the acronym if I want to here. All right, so it's going to import that BPM in export from BlueWorks Live. It's going to give you an update. Typically, this is just telling you that it's changing and, or creating a certain roles. There's no errors here. It's just letting you know what's, uh, what's been created. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and close this dialog. All right, now at this point, I'm ready to apply the Spark Ignition feature that automates process development for you. Um, so to do that, I'm actually going to, um, well, I'll log out here. So I'm gonna log into the process portal. Now the process portal, if you have Spark Ignition, exposes to the admins group um, different tasks. If they don't show up immediately here, uh, you can, look at these other dashboards actually and and they'll show up here so i'm going to use the maintain activities and ready for ignition uh, here but let's start with doing ready for ignition so with ready for ignition what it's doing is essentially letting me pick the process app so here's that process app that was imported it knows the initial import there when you import a bpm in um, BlueWorks Live export, it, it creates a snapshot for you, and then we can just press make ignition ready. Uh, it's going to ask for username and password. That's because we're about to do some heavy lifting with the process application, bringing in other toolkits, uh, creating activity templates, etc. cetera. Uh, so we're going to let this run for a bit. What it's doing first is, is going out and retrieving the ignition toolkit. Then it's going to retrieve the Spark UI toolkit, which is required for ignition. Spark UI is the toolkit that's getting built into IBM BPM uh, soon. So uh, if not, maybe by the time you already watch this video, it's already been built in, so that wouldn't even show up. Um, we're going to retrieve the process app that we just imported. We're going to create ignition activities here. That's essentially replacing uh, the what was imported from the BPM in uh, file with, with new activities uh, implementations, and then it's creating ignition templates based upon documentation. The last question is, do you want to auto import or download? I'm going to go ahead and press auto import here. All right, so at this point, we've essentially done days or weeks worth of development in uh, just a click of a button, and it, and it did it for us. So let's, let's go back and actually look at process center and see what happened, all right? So we still have our process app here. 
And if we look, we actually see that there's a new snapshot that's been created for our process app. Um, so let's, let's dig into the details of what this process uh, looks like now. So we're going to press Open in Designer. If you're using a browser um, and you're in Process Center, uh, you're going to be uh, taken use to Web Process Designer. So Spark Ignition works with both Web Process Designer or Desktop Process Designer. Uh, one of the things you have to keep in mind, though, when you use Spark Ignition, um, because the BPMN export feature actually when you use that in IBM BPM it creates a BPD you will have to convert what was created and enhanced with Spark Ignition to a process uh, in WebPD that's a simple step here you just go to BPD conversion after you've run Spark Ignition and press convert you'll see this will go away and now we have our process here ready for us in WebPD all right the, to test this out, if I want to, what I can do is, once I open the process, click on Overview, and I'm going to expose to start. I'm just going to expose this to all users. All right, and now that I've done that, why don't I go in my process portal? I'm going to log out and log back in again um, so I can see uh, the request the demo uh, work here. So now you'll see we have another option, request the demo. And when I press that, it'll start a new task. Uh, and when it starts a new task, um, this is now a, an ignition, uh, I guess one might call it an, an ignited process. Um, so what's going to happen here is I'll, I'll do this, and it'll, it'll run. And when it gets done loading, the first load after you've uh, created a new process application in IBM BPM takes just a little bit. Um, but when it gets done loading, uh, it's going to have uh, an enhanced uh, process application here. So you'll see um, it's not just a simple model. We have documentation that came from BlueWorks Live. We have links and videos uh, that one could watch. Uh, and we have to-dos here. Uh, so that's essentially how you can use a BlueWorks Live BPMN export uh, and only the browser-based IBM BPM tooling uh, to get started using Spark Ignition. Thanks.